it's a Monday. For me, it's a Thursday. I've been doing my grocery shopping on Thursdays now since I work at the, uh, the strawberry farm. And Thursdays is my day. I do um, laundry delivery service. Sorry for my parents. I, <laughs> I've been doing laundry all day. I'm having an allergy attack. Um, if anyone deals with allergies, it's just that time of year whenever it's like foggy or I don't know. It's just whatever the weather. Uh, my roots are showing. I need to do my roots. I just got a shower and I kind of just put my hair up a little bit. Been doing laundry. It's like um, 3 o'clock in the afternoon on Thursday on uh, June 18th. Last night we had a little birthday party for my roommate. Um, and so, yeah, it was crazy. Um, anyway, oh God, pins and needles. I'm just going to get right to it. Sorry for the dishes since the party and everything. So I did the dishes. They're all right here. So sorry, everything's a mess. I haven't had a chance to do anything. Excuse me, i got to blow my nose. Oh. Okay. Sorry, guys. I don't even, like, I, I wear this for my mask. Uh, they say not to touch your face, but when you have allergies, there is just no way. You have to. you got to blow your nose up. I'm wearing uh, Ricky Rackman's The Cat House gray t-shirt. My suspenders, my jeans, pennies. <laughs> oh my god, my allergies are acting up so bad. Well, today's magic number is $72. I don't know when I'm going to get back to doing good deals and stuff. I just get in, get out. Still pandemic, still, you know, everyone wearing masks. And, and I just don't want to go to uh, Rouse, the big grocery store. I go to the little tiny market. So everything's a little high priced. One thing I want to put away, I've been buying fresh flowers. You know some of the buy fresh flowers? I've been buying fresh flowers lately. Um, this one I didn't go to the mom and pop one. This is like uh, $5. And this is just uh, pink or salmon colored roses with daisies. I probably should just get some really good fake flowers instead of flowers all the time. But it's nice to have real flowers, you know? I did buy eggs. I don't really eat eggs. But my friend Larry, he comes around uh, now that's kind of getting summertime um, here at the beach. He comes around a lot, and it, um, and he likes his eggs and hash browns. So I don't know how much eggs I have left, but I think they're getting low. So I'm, I got some more eggs. I got some more paper towels. I haven't bought these in a while. I don't even know how much these were. I just grabbed some paper towels. Uh, oh. Oh, I got these last time, and I kind of like this. Uh, this is great because we had a party last night, and this is perfect for parties, especially now that it's summertime, everyone's coming over having snacks. I have snacks. Plus, this is great for work, too, because I never know what to bring to work. I end up bringing too much food to work because I never know what I'm going to be in the mood for later because I work, like, 12-hour days. So once I'm out there in the strawberry field, you know, I got to eat whatever's around. So I'd be hearing music. Neighbors are playing music and stuff. So um, I never know what to eat. So I carry a, a cooler with a bunch of different kinds of snacks because I never know. But these are these are really great. I love it. It comes with pretzels. It's like all kinds of like, you know, Dorito type chips, corn chips, um, Cheetos. Uh, they're really perfect. So I got another tub of that because... Um, one tub's for, like, everyone that just comes. It's, like, halfway done. And then I want another tub because I want to have some as well. Oh, sorry for my allergies. I'm going to be stuffed up and stuff like that. Uh, of course, I got more water. The thing broke because I was picking it up. I got more water because I need more water. Because I'm trying to be good on the water, even though I hate water. I totally hate water. Um, I've been really into the margaritas. You know, I usually drink my um, mimosas. My um, I didn't buy any champagne this time because I kind of overdid it on the champagne last time, so I'm okay. But I usually like my Andre champagne with uh, pink grapefruit juice. And so that's what I usually like on the weekends, uh, during the day. And then uh, at night, you know, after work, I like my red wine. But when I'm having drinky drinkies, um, this is kind of a good summer alternative. And I just add a lot of ice to it. Uh, and I add a little bit more tequila to it because it is very sweet. So I got some more of that. And I always try to get some more creamer. So I got the normal vanilla cinnamon because they didn't really have much of a selection in the creamer department. Oh, no. This fell. This 
opened up, so I got to squeeze it back here. Of course, I'm going to put them in a different container anyway. These kind of containers, they always spill. They always spill because I'm going to put them in a different container anyway. But I want to start getting into salads now, now that it's, you know, it's getting warmer weather and I'm bringing a cooler with me. Um, I'm going to start bringing salads. So I bought on Amazon, I bought a bunch of, of black olives. See, I like the. I never really been to the Olive Garden, but I know I see the salads they make at the Olive Garden, which is black olives, onions, and tomatoes. So I got a bunch of tomatoes to put in my salad. And of course, I got some small trash bags for the cat litter. And I got more salsa because I always have to stock up on salsa because that's another dip. I bring this to work too to dip the chips in. Oh, wow. I didn't really get much. Oh, this is my wine after I get off work. I still have my big bottle, but last night I told you we had a party. So, you know, one of the girls got into the wine, so that's fine. So I got some more wine. This is the, this is the wine I use. It's just, like, cheap. It's, like, $7 for this big bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon by Gallo. Of course, I have an aerator, so it works really well. It, it makes the wine taste better. And for my salads, I just got this big, it's $5 for this big bag of romaine lettuce. So I'm like, right on. So that'll help, that'll be good for a couple weeks of salads. And then for Larry, my friend Larry, I think I have hash browns already. But I got some more hash browns for him. Because that's what he likes to have. He likes to have hash browns and eggs. So I got that for him. And then, of course, I got more cheese because I went through my other cheese so much. Because I, I kind of like Munster cheese. I don't know. I just like it. It's one of my favorites. Oh, and then to make my salad, I got my red onions. Because <laughs> when I get an onion, sometimes it'll stop me from making a salad because I don't want to cut it and, and do dishes and cry and all that kind of stuff. So I just got chopped up onions. That way I could just easily put them, you know, in. Uh... And then I got some uh, sour cream because I got sour cream dip uh, for the party, and so we ate it. So um, I just got a little thing of sour cream because I have some packet stuff I can make to dip whenever we need it. And I got more tortillas because I was craving um, my grandmother when I was younger, when I was raised with her. She would make fried potatoes. Well, fried potatoes was like a thing, but fried potatoes, ground beef, and then... Uh, everything was served with tortillas, and then she would have homemade salsa, and I would love that for breakfast or anytime because what I would do is I get a tortilla, I put the fried potatoes that's cooked on the stove, fried potatoes with the ground beef and the homemade salsa, and I'll roll it up and make burritos out of it. It was so good. Now, granted, I don't eat meat anymore, but I have some ground vegetarian meat in the freezer. And I was thinking, wow, it would really be good. I'm thinking for dinner or later or sometime this weekend, I want to make fried potatoes. And I want to have my salsa. And I want to have my vegetarian ground beef. And I want to make little burritos. Well, I tried to find some potatoes. They were all sold out. All the potatoes. I could have got normal potatoes. But I know I probably, to fry up potatoes, it, would take, it takes up so much time. So, for some reason, they're sold out. So, I do have french fries in the freezer i know this might be ghetto but they're fried potatoes i'm thinking about baking some french fries baking them and then cutting them up <laughs> or i could do the hash browns and wrap them up with the, the salsa and make my my fried potato burritos that's what i'm going to have like hopefully later tonight uh, and then for the birds, even though I still have some from last week, but I always get it because it kind of goes bad sometimes, the broccoli. So, so that's $72. Um, and as you can tell, I didn't buy much. But it is what it is. And sorry for all these short um, videos lately. It seems like I'm rushing you guys. I'm really sorry. But it just seems there's always this something. I've just been really, really busy. And I really want to slow down and talk to you guys. I'm going to try to do more videos for you. The strawberry season is not forever. Strawberry season will probably end the end of July. So I think I have August and September that will be free, I think. 
And then um, the business that I'm in, she also does pumpkin patches. So I'm thinking uh, August and September, I'll probably be free. I'll be doing my laundry delivery service. They've been calling me lately because um, now that shops are opening up, I've been getting a lot more business. And then, um, but anyway, my, uh, ooh, I gotta blow my nose. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Sorry, you didn't want to see that. Um, that she has a pumpkin patch, and so I'm hoping October I'll be working the pumpkin patch. And then she also does Christmas trees. So I'm hoping, because I asked, I go, so since uh, my boss does that, um, can I work the pumpkin patch and the Christmas trees? And they said, well, since you work for the strawberries, your first pick, like your, you you could apply, you're first to apply. So I'm like, okay, so this might be a thing of mine that I do strawberries and then pumpkins and then Christmas trees. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I think it might be kind of cool. So anyway, sorry for the allergies. I'm just like, oh, miserable. And I don't want to take allergy medicine because it makes you go to sleep. The good stuff makes you go to sleep, and the stuff that's non-drowsy just makes you kind of awkward and then sometimes it doesn't work out it doesn't work at all anyway but anyway i'm gonna put all this stuff away sorry for such a mess i feel like i just have been not doing really good videos lately and i'm sorry but if you follow my instagram and everything i've been doing still my photo shoots i've been doing wrestling shoots live chat with tanya's i've been working i've been doing my fetish modeling i've been updating my sites daily I've been working like 12-hour um, days with the strawberry patch, so it's like I'm talking over 40 hours a week <laughs> and doing my laundry delivery service. <laughs> so um, <laughs> I can't wait till strawberry season ends. I, I really do kind of need a break. I just need a break. And I've been cleaning the house and I got a new kitty. Oh, anyway, I better let you go. <laughs> I don't know this guy. I have a sneezing spell that's coming up. Sometimes when you're screaming, you don't know if it's kids having a fun time or someone's in danger. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you have to listen to, like, okay, are they having fun or is this danger? I think it's just kids having fun. <laughs> okay, to all my stage cadets and all my briquettes, I hope you have a great day. Until next time, peace. <laughs>